So guys, today we are playing Super Mario Bros. Deluxe from 1985 to 1999. I believe the original game came out in 1985 and this deluxe version came out in 1999. So let's just load into the game. And now we've got the original 1985 version, the challenge version, the versus game version. Which I'm not quite sure what the challenge and versus game version is, but you guys can check it out for yourself. Uh, but we've got records down below, which shows the world records for this game. Like speed ones, that's all I can really think of. Uh, the album toy box, which I'm not quite sure what those two do either. But we are going up to the original game, and we are going to click the first save file there. There we are. We've got number five lives. Don't know why I said that so weirdly. 400 seconds to complete the level. Let's see if we can do it. Um, if you haven't already noticed already, got a slightly different uh, graphics. Or oh, might not be different. It could just be me. But I like to think it's different. Goomba Troopers. Goomba Troopers? Goombas, I mean. Apologies. Uh, Goombas look uh, bigger. Now we've got more Goombas. A lot of Goombas so far. And I've just died. That, that's that's uh, fantastic. That's terrible. All of them terrible at this game. Just begun and I've died. Okay. So uh, we have to do this all again. Click Mushroom. Basically the same as last time. I don't know why, but I love the design of Big Mario so much compared to Small Mario. Maybe they did it purposefully because he looks big now. They make the graphics look better, but he looks really cool. Okay, now we've got a purplish, pinkish flower, which transforms Mario in what I like to call Plum Mario. Got multiple Goombas there. Which I'm struggling to get up here. And I managed to do that and I'll try and go back to see where the Goombas are, but they seem to fall in the pit of the void. Okay, we kill the Goomba Jibber, collect all the lucky blocks, as we do. Completely missing failing. And this time we get a pink purplish flower again, which doesn't do anything, it just gives us a thousand points instead of transforming us because we are already transformed. Now we kill these several Goombas. To kill that one before we get up to the lucky box above here because we could die if we jump down. Now we've, I believe, we're close to the end. We should be. I see these bricks, and these bricks always mean we're close to the end. Most of the time. Okay, kill this combo, kill the lucky block, and now you see, I was right. Got the flag here, we jump down. And we only get 100 points because we failed that jump. Let's see what total points we have. We have 17,700 points and I believe it was 13 coins. Yes, it was. Now we're going to the pipe level where the color is reversed. I don't know what to call this. <laughs> Well, we've got five lucky blocks here, the flower again, but it will only give us a thousand points because we are Plum Mario still. So we've got kill the Goomba again, and then oh, actually I didn't realise that there was a, there's a lucky block a break there, and we kill the Koop Trooper, which makes us turn into small Mario. Not only does it take away our Plum Mario, but it also makes us small. Sadly. Uh, we jump up to the brick roof thing. Click the several coins that are up there. And knock away all the Goombas. Just there are quite a few Goombas in this part of the level. And we die that. That is terrible. I'm sorry for being this bad at the game. Okay. Double kill. That doesn't sound as right because my uh, voice right now. Okay. Okay, we finished the beginning of this level. And now we are back. This part with the 
a uh, lucky brick, brick block. That's a tongue twister. A lucky brick block, which gives us far more than two coins this time, which is a bit odd. But that's fine. We move on. This time, the shell doesn't hit us, and we kill all the goomba troopers. This time, killing two goombas, not one. But unfortunately, we have to kill these three goombas. They aren't that difficult, but I did die here last time, so say what you will. I can't get up there. Quite difficult. Okay, I collect several coins. Now the ah, uh, getting annoyed now. Getting annoyed at myself for being bad at the game. It's really sad, actually. Okay. This time the mushroom comes to us without it being knocked back into the little abyss of the off screen. We have Big Mario, which as you can see is two to three blocks tall, and clicks the coins from the lucky brick block. Yeah, you see that right this time. It's pretty uh, cool. These, th this part of it, see, I shrink again. It's really annoying. For some reason, the, I just realized the Cooper Trooper can fit underneath the brick, even though his neck is literally going through the bricks themselves. Now, I thought I was smart here by jumping up there, so the Goomba would go off screen, but it, it, not because I collected the coins too quickly. Okay, jump up, click the bricks, click the coins, all the stuff for double kill, wait for the piranha plant to pop up, and then pounce, but it doesn't, so I'm just waiting there for no reason, same with this one, kill the Goomba puzzle, I wish you could kill piranha plants, Mario, I wonder how much points that would give you, and if you can, please do tell me, kill the red Goomba Trooper, and we go back up to the surface, and complete the levels, and I, I missed the top of the flag again, which only gave me a hundred points. Let's see the total amount of points this time. 49,500 with 62 coins. We're at the third level with two health remaining. Now we're at the palm trees, if you recognize these from an older episode. Um, you could go watch that if you want, or you could just stick with watching this one. It's up to you. Um, yeah, it's completely up to you if you want to do that. Now we've got the... I thought it was going to die there, I panicked because I jumped down. But it stayed there on level with the palm tree. Now, now let's see if we can jump up and we, we can't. Which, unlike the other game we played, where you could jump up and then jump onto the next palm tree, it didn't work like that. So, I jump up and die to the Goomba, which is far more frustrating. Game over. Now this is where I would usually end the video, but as you can see here, this is the save screen. My score, this is the first time it's ever popped up, which is quite cool. Okay, so we need to type our name in, which is obviously going to be <laughs> Frosty. So we can put our name into the record books. Although I don't know why, because we only managed to make it up to three stages, while only completing two of them. So I've spelled all po there, that's terrible spelling by me there. I've spelled foul roleplay now, that's great. And I've spelled foo, like, sounds like foo, short for fruit. Frost, Jack Frost from the movie, Rods of the Guardians. Now, there we are, we've got Frosty right there ranking. We are 8 out of 10. That is terrible. I don't have to stage there. Terrible. I'm sorry for being bad. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoy.